Well, it's one for the money, for the show. You get red enough, boo cat. Despite what you may think, this isn't 1958 London or New York. It's 1978 in downtown Dublin. It's Friday night, and the magnet in Pier Street rocks to the sound of Hurricane Johnny and the Jets. I like a lot of music, but I listen to every other sort of music in the ears. It goes straight in the heart, rock and roll. It gets my feet tapping. I love dancing to it. But you dance to Bill Haley. The only fast rock and roll group during the hurricanes. Smack them, so you. The search for Hurricane Johnny and the Jets led, not as you'd expect, to the jukebox in the local calf, but to the playing fields of Black Rock College Rugby Football Club. The Jets have in fact played rugby longer than they played rock and roll. Johnny Hurricane and the Jets, where are you? <laughs> Johnny Hurricane and the Jets. It's all here. Yeah. What are rugby players doing in a rock and roll band? We well, to wonder ourselves a rock and roll band doing rugby. So it all started off about nine, ten months ago when uh, four or five of us decided to get together and uh, sort of have a night out for the lads, which we, we've mostly been having discos here. So we decided to get together. A few of us sort of play musicians as such, part-time, but years ago, got together and started doing a bit of uh, rock and roll practice and uh, got together here one night. That's how it all started. We had a big crowd and three weeks later had the same crowd. And ever since then, it's, it's taken off. And you play regularly now? We, well, we play on a regular basis as far as we play in a magnet on Friday night. And we, we sort of uh, dis yeah, yeah, distribute yeah. our talents to Lansdowne, and rugby clubs, so and Belvedere, and some now. of the rugby clubs. That, you know, on sort of every second week or <laughs> well, every second week or third week. It's just a only fun doing it for thing, the fun, actually. Really. We're not in it for any serious but way. It, does all that activity not interfere with the rugby? With the well, we really, play rugby in the afternoons, of course, which leaves the nights free for playing in the rock and roll band. And it's only once a week. Yeah, good training. Good training on Tuesday. It's a Friday. Do you put much rehearsal into the into the band? Every so Thursday night. Once a week. Yeah. Once a week training rugby. Once a week training the band. Right. Okay. Well, play on. <laughs> Despite the rugby and the rock and roll, these boys actually do find time to hold down day jobs. Brian on guitar is an architect, Chaz on bass is a boutique owner, Merv on drums is a hairdresser, Dave is an accountant, and Hurricane Johnny is a company director. But although successful professionals by day, there's nothing quite like the excitement of the magnet dressing room on a Friday night, when Brian, Chaz, Merv, Dave and John become Hurricane Johnny and the Jets. Are you modelling yourselves on anyone in particular? Yeah, I want to be like Mike Gibson from Land's you know? He's just been picked for the Irish International panel, you know? And Willie Duggan's just been dropped for the rest of the No, no, not particularly. On any rock and roll stars? Oh, no, we just get together and we're, we're just ourselves. No, we're we just play people ourselves. who actually yeah, remember all the numbers are. from the period when they when they were performed. I wouldn't say we model ourselves in any way because we play quite a cross section of numbers. Yeah. Yes, right. Um, or we're just Hurricane Johnny and the Jets. But I no, would we... have thought people of uh, your backgrounds would be interested in more uh, cultural pursuits. Oh, but we are in the Symphony Opera concerts or the theatre. But I mean, you yeah, 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 ran a rock and roll gig in the Abbey next year. I was not rock and roll, what? And we actually remain, I tell you. Oh, yeah, we did something. I mean, several of us played in rock and roll bands in the early days. We weren't Ted's. We weren't Ted's. But we dress as Ted's and we can take off Ted's because we used to look at Ted's all the time. We used to be terrified of Ted's. Right. You were a Ted. I was. You went to Black Rock. I went to Gonzaga. I went to Gonzaga. <laughs>
What do you think of John Travolta? Uh, uh, well, we'd be banned if we said What do they call you? Grace Grease. Why do they call you that? Because we fell it's red to Ted, so Grace Grease. <laughs> What she's doing to me. Can I see your tattoos? <laughs> Hand on. Very fun. Nostalgic, but I like it. Pretty good. Um, naturally, I've seen no offense to him, a lot better in England, but he's all we got. He's pretty good. <laughs> 